And Kainak lived 65 years, and he begot Methuselah. And Kainak walked with Allahim after having begot Methuselah. And he served Yahuwah and despised the evil ways of men. And the soul of Kainak was wrapped up in the instruction of Yahuwah, in knowledge and in understanding. And he wisely retired from the sons of men and secreted himself from them for many days. And it was at the expiration of many years while he was serving Yahuwah and praying before him in his house that an angel of Yahuwah called to him from heaven and he said, Here am I. And he said, Rise, go forth from your house and from the place where you do hide yourself and appear to the sons of men in order that you may teach them the way in which they should go and the work which they must accomplish to enter in the ways of Allahim. And Kainak rose up according to the word of Yahuwah and went forth from his house, from his place and from the chamber in which he was concealed. And he went to the sons of men and taught them the ways of Yahuwah. And at that time assembled the sons of men and acquainted them with the instruction of Yahuwah. And he ordered it to be proclaimed in all places where the sons of men dwelt, saying, Where is the man who wishes to know the ways of Yahuwah and good works? Let him come to Kainach. And all the sons of men then assembled to him. For all who desired this thing went to Kainach. And Kainach reigned over the sons of men according to the word of Yahuwah. And they came and bowed to him, and they heard his word. And the Ruach Allahim was upon Kainach. And he taught all his men the wisdom of Allahim and his ways. And the sons of men served Yahuwah all the days of Kainach. And they came to hear his wisdom. And all the kings of the sons of men, both first and last, together with their princes and judges, came to Kainach when they heard of his wisdom. And they bowed down to him. And they also required of Kainach to reign over them, to which he consented. And they assembled in all 130 kings and princes, and they made Kainach king over them, and they were all under his power and command. And Kainach taught them wisdom, knowledge, and the ways of Yahuwah, and he made peace amongst them, and peace was throughout the earth during the life of Kainach. And Kainach reigned over the sons of men 243 years, and he did justice and righteousness with all his people, and he led them in the ways of Yahuwah. And these are the generations of Kainach, Methuselah, Elisha, and Elimelech, three sons, and their sisters were Melchah and Nama. And Methuselah lived 87 years, and he begot Lamech. And it was in the 56th year of the life of Lamech when Adam died. 930 years old was he at his death, and his two sons, with Kainah and Methuselah his son, buried him with great pomp, as at the burial of kings, in the cave which Allahim had told them. And in that place all the sons of men made a great mourning and weeping on account of Adam. It has therefore become a custom among the sons of men to this day. And Adam died because he ate of the tree of knowledge, he and his children after him, as Yahuwah Allahim had spoken. And it was in the year of Adam's death, which was the 243rd year of the reign of Kainach. In that time, Kainach resolved to separate himself from the sons of men and to secret himself as at first in order to serve Yahuwah. And Kainach did so, but did not entirely secret himself from them but kept away from the sons of men three days, and then went to them for one day. 
and during the three days that he was in his chamber, he prayed to and praised Yahuwah Aloheyu. And the day on which he went and appeared to his subjects, he taught them the ways of Yahuwah, and all they asked him about Yahuwah he told them. And he did in this manner for many years, and he afterward concealed himself for six days, and appeared to his people one day in seven, and after that once in a month, and then once in a year, until all the kings, princes, and sons of men sought for him, and desired again to see the face of Kainah, and to hear his word, but they could not, as all the sons of men were greatly afraid of Kainah, and they feared to approach him on account of the Allahim, like all that was seated upon his countenance. Therefore no man could look at him, fearing he might be punished and die. And all the kings and princes resolved to assemble the sons of men, and to come to Kainah, thinking that they might all speak to him at the time when he should come forth amongst them, and they did so. And the day came when Kainach went forth, and they all assembled and came to him. And Kainach spoke to them the words of Yahuwah, and he taught them wisdom and knowledge. And they bowed down before him, and they said, May the king live, may the king live. And in some time after, when the kings and princes and the sons of men were speaking to Kainach, and Kainach was teaching them the ways of Allahim, Behold, an angel of Yahuwah then called unto Kainah from heaven, and wished to bring him up to heaven to make him reign there over the sons of Allahim, as he had reigned over the sons of men upon earth. When at that time Kainach heard this, he went and assembled all the inhabitants of the earth, and taught them wisdom and knowledge, and gave them divine instructions. And he said to them, I have been required to ascend into heaven. I therefore do not know the day of my going. And now therefore, I will teach you wisdom and knowledge and will give you instruction before I leave you, how to act upon earth whereby you may live. And he did so. And he taught them wisdom and knowledge and gave them instruction and he reproved them and he placed before them commandments and judgments to do upon earth. And he made peace amongst them, and he taught them everlasting life, and dwelt with them some time, teaching them all these things. And at that time the sons of men were with Kainah, and Kainah was speaking to them. And they lifted up their eyes, and the likeness of a great horse descended from heaven, and the horse paced in the air. And they told Kainach what they had seen. And Kainach said to them, On my account does this horse descend upon earth. The time is come when I must go from you, and I shall no more be seen by you. And the horse descended at that time and stood before Kainach. And all the sons of men that were with Kainach saw him. And Kainach then again ordered a voice to be proclaimed, saying, where is the man who delights to know the ways of Yahuwah Aloheinu? Let him come this day to Kainach before he is taken from us. And all the sons of men assembled and came to Kainach that day. And all the kings of the earth with their princes and counselors remained with him that day. And Kainach then taught the sons of men wisdom and knowledge and gave them divine instruction. And he bade them serve Yahuwah and walk in his ways all the days of their lives. And he continued to make peace amongst them. And it was after this that he rose up and rode upon the horse. And he went forth and all the sons of men went after him, about 800,000 men. And they went with him one day's journey. And the second day he said to them, Return home to your tents. Why will you go? Perhaps you may die. And some of them went from him, and those that remained with him, and those that remained went with him six days' journey. And Kainach said to them every day, 
return to your tents, lest you may die. But they were not willing to return, and they went with him. And on the sixth day, some of the men remained and clung to him. And they said to him, We will go with you to the place where you go. As Yahuwah lives, death only shall separate us. And they urged so much to go with him, that he ceased speaking to them. And they went after him and would not return. And when the kings returned, they caused a census to be taken in order to know the number of remaining men that went with Kynoch. And it was upon the seventh day that Kynoch ascended into heaven in a whirlwind with horses and chariots of fire. And on the eighth day, all the kings that had been with Kynoch sent to bring back the number of men that were with Kynoch in that place from which he ascended into heaven. And all those kings went to the place and they found the earth there filled with snow and upon the snow were large stones of snow. And one said to the other, Come, let us break through the snow and see. Perhaps the men that remained with Kynoch are dead and are now under the stones of snow. And they searched, but could not find him, for he had ascended into heaven. 